Hello, everyone. I want to thank you for joining us for today's Tech Talk webinar as we discuss the trends and challenges around designing for ceiling protection. My name is Sri Sminick, and I am a part of our Appliances Business Units product marketing team. I'll be moderating, moderating throughout today's webinar. Uh, for those of you who are new to TE Connectivity, uh, we are a global industrial technology leader in both sensors and connector technology. Technology more now than ever before is enabling humanity to connect, and we're committed to unleashing the potential of every connection. Our 8,000 engineers serve customers in more than 150 countries. In fact, we manufacture more than 270 billion products each year that enable high-tech applications that are advancing the future of transportation, making our homes and factories smarter, enabling global com communications networks, and revolutionizing medical technology, all helping to create a safer, sustainable, productive, and connected future. I'm pleased to welcome today's presenters. We have Aaron Zern with our Appliances Channel Sales Team. Aaron has been with TE for four years. And we have Melissa Stanley, who is a Product Manager in the Appliances Business Unit and who has been with TE for more than 30 years. Just a few housekeeping items for our audience today. Uh, we will have all of the attendees muted. This is just to ensure that there is no background noise and to make sure that everyone can hear our presenters well. We do welcome you, however, to enter any of your questions or feedback throughout the, the presentation today. You can submit those questions through the Q&A box that should be on the right-hand side of your screen. We will leave about five to ten minutes at the end of the webinar today to address any of the questions that are, that are proposed in those question boxes. Um, if, any, if we're not able to address your question at the end of the webinar, we will make sure that we reply directly to you after the webinar at the contact information that you provide us. In the resources box, you'll find links to learn more about the solutions and applications that we discussed today. And by clicking on the speaker bio icon at the bottom of your screen, you can learn a little bit more about our speakers, including their email addresses, so you can follow up with them directly if you would want to speak more about today's presentation. We do recommend that you use either Chrome or Firefox to have the best webinar experience. Um, and just to let you know, in the next day or so, you will be receiving an email with a link to replay today's conversation. In addition, if you wanted to share any comments directly on Twitter or LinkedIn, there are also um, clicks at the bottom of the screen that you, can that you can click on to share any comments as well. And now, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started with our webinar. Um, to, for today's agenda, we will first be hitting on the design trends then leading into our product portfolio, portfolio insights, as well as why PE connectivity, and then closing it up with a Q&A session with our speakers. I'm going to go ahead now and hand this over to Aaron to go ahead and get us started. Thank you, Cerise. Hello, everyone. Thank you again for joining us today. The first slide I will be covering highlights many of the challenges and market trends that are driving customer requirements. To summarize why we invited you all here for a discussion of our product portfolio in relation to these market drivers, we are offering our economical ceiling solutions that meet the market need for smaller products with quicker and simpler assembly processes while maintaining the high quality and safety standards that are backed by decades of TE engineering expertise. The four products that we will be talking about today include two new additions to the TE portfolio, Field Signal Double Lock and Power Versa Lock, as well as two legacy products that have evolved with the market, our Universal Main Lock and our Mini Universal Main Lock. We've also included heat shrink tubing because what good is a sealed connector without a sealed wire to connector interface and beyond? The key takeaway from this presentation is that we at TE offer a broad portfolio of multifaceted solutions. These are products that check boxes across the board, all under one roof. One of our newest additions to our connector portfolio is our sealed signal double lock connector. 
This connector offers IP67 protection from water and dust with a dual locking mechanism to withstand high vibration environments. Additionally, this product is manufactured with manufacturing assembly in mind. Optional TPAs ensure proper contact feeding and prevent backouts. Lanceless terminals help prevent incorrect insertion. Snag-proof housing design prevents damage to connector latches. Field signal double lock comes in two to six position, wire to wire and wire to panel configurations with a compact 2.5 millimeter center line. It is rated for negative 40 degrees Celsius to 105 degrees Celsius and meets UL V0 glow wire requirements. It sees applications in refrigeration, agriculture, automotive, lighting, and lawn and garden markets. Since its release, we have seen a good deal of interest in the automotive and lighting markets. One final note, the icing on the cake here, is that this connector is incredibly economical. The sixth position, fully loaded, including rear seals, interface seal, contact, and the male and female housing, come to roughly a dollar total. With that, I'll pass it over to Melissa. Thank you. Hello, another new product, PE product line that offers sealing is Powerversal Lock, which is a wire-to-wire -wire product line on a five millimeter center line that offers an IP67 sealing system when used with our optional interface and gang seals. It has a current rating up to 15 amps and voltage rating up to 600 volts. Housings are UL V0 with a temperature rating from negative 40 to 105 C. The housings have a flexible design that allows them to be used in both sealed and unsealed applications. The housings assist with air proofing by having molded in keying that is also color coded for each key. All housings have panel mount latches to be used in free hanging or panel mount applications. The scoop proof design eliminates the possibility of bent pins during blind mating. The plug housing has a lead in design on the silos to prevent the tabs from stubbing. This lead-in guides the tab to the receptacle terminal without bending. The tip of the tab is deep enough in the cap housing to avoid contact with the mating plug silo if attempted to mate on an angle. The power Verlock connector system is tooled for 14 to 16 gauge wires using a polarized tab and receptacle contact system with four points of contact for higher reliability. The polarization does not allow tab terminals to be loaded into cap housing nor receptacle terminals into plug housings, helping to poke yoke the assembly operation. The inline cap housings are designed with a, a connector mounting clip that can be that it can be held in place and reduce the connector movement for high vibration applications like washing machines. This clip reduces assembly labor by eliminating the tedious effort to install wire ties to hold the connector tightly in place. The Power Versa Lock product offers a wire-to-wire -wire twist and lock cap, prim primarily designed for refrigeration applications where the connector transitions from a dry area through a liner to an area with moisture or condensation. This cap has a unique and patented 18 degree angle that prevents moisture from collecting at the mated terminal area by using gravitational pull for the moisture to drip away. We offer this unique twist and lock cap in the two by three and three by three configuration. If not being used with seals, this versatile line can utilize optional TPA devices to assure terminals are fully seated and prevent terminal backouts. A TPA will not properly latch to the housings unless the terminals are fully seated correctly, indicating to the operator that it was not assembled properly. It is important to note that due to the design, TPAs cannot be used with the seals. If the interface and rear gang seals are used, we offer a back cover to help hold the rear gang seal in place. These back covers do not function as a TPA, although they do give some additional contact retention. Although the same housings are used with or without seals, different terminals are required. The terminals for sealing are designed with a special lead-in to easily push through the rear gang seal. This allows for low insertion force of the terminal through the seal and into the housing. It also helps not tear the seal to assure the IP67 rating. Power Versa Lock is a very young product line for TE with its initial launch planned for next quarter. We continue to grow the product offering and versatility. 
We offer inline cap and plug housings in single row configurations up to four positions and a two by three position. We will soon release a new three by three connector. We offer the unique twist and lock cap only in the two by three and three by three. All housings are currently ULV zero today, but new glow wire versions will be available by mid 2021. Moving to universal mate and lock, this is one of TE's biggest and most popular power products that has been in production for over 40 years. It has both wire-to-wire -wire and wire-to-board options with a center line of 6.35 millimeters. Terminals can accommodate wire size. Hello. Hi, everyone. Sorry about that. We momentarily lost audio. So to pick up where Melissa was saying and kind of regroup for the moment. Um, so the universal mate and lock connector is one of TE's bread and butter con connectors. And what we're really pushing here and focusing on are the ceiling options. We have a these blue seals that you see here in this photo are sold separately. So if you are already purchasing or have a customer that is purchasing the universal mate and lock housing, we do, they can just purchase the seals as a separate part number rather than completely buying a new part. Additionally, uh, these offer an IP 57 and 56 ceiling. So it's a great option for a splash proof design. We do now offer TPAs for these connector housings. Similarly, they ensure that the, connect, the contacts are fully seated, and, but they cannot be used with the seals. With that, I'm going to pass it back to Melissa uh, as she is now available again. And we can move on to, well, there you go, Melissa. <laughs> I, I apologize, I got kicked off as well. Um, I'm not exactly sure um, everything that got covered there with universal mate and lock. I just want to um, say, you know, one big difference from universal mate and lock from the power versa lock is that with the universal mate and lock, the housings um, allow both the terminals to be used in them where it is a pin and socket design versus the tab and receptacle design, and the pins and sockets can be intermixed into the same housing. And this offers a lot of flexibility for the customers. Um, uh, I do want to mention, um, I, I'm not sure if Aaron did mention here, happy to announce that when not using seals with our universal mate and lock, we do now offer TPAs for single row two through five caps and plugs. And these, are, um, these will be launched by next quarter as well, so you can look for those coming soon. Our mini universal mate and lock is another popular legacy product. It's also in production for many years. It has both wire to wire and wire to board options with a center line of 4.41 millimeters. Terminals can accommodate wire sizes from 13 or 16 to 30 gauge. And this system has a rating of 9.5 amps and a voltage rating again up to 600 volts with an operating temperature from negative 55 to 105 C. Mini Universal Mate and Lock has housings in both V0 and V2. The Mini Universal Mate and Lock also offers the IP57 splash proof and immersible rating. A difference from Universal Mate and Lock is that the Mini uses different housings and terminals for sealed applications versus the non-sealed applications. The sealed portion of the Mini Universal Mate and Lock line covers dual row, two through 10 position, and a 16 position. 
The terminals for field applications cover 26 to 18 gauge and offer up to a 9 amp current rating, so it's really a subset of the entire uh, portfolio. Mini Universal Maintenance Lock also utilizes the pin and socket terminals and allows for the pins and sockets to be intermixed into the same housing, similar to Universal Maintenance Lock. The housings are also similar to Universal Mate and Lock in that they offer polarization to provide proper mating, and they incorporate a positive locking mechanism or latch to help prevent unintended disengagement of mated connectors. So while Mini Universal Mate and Lock is very similar to the Universal Mate and Lock, it offers the smaller pitch for higher density and miniaturization, and the offset is just a lower amp rating. With that, I'm going to turn this back to Aaron. Thank you, Melissa. So the products I'll be speaking to now are the heat shrink tubing products. Uh, the ones that we're talking and highlighting today are some of our most widely used and versatile products. They have applications across many markets, including automotive, military, appliance, marine, HVAC, agriculture, and many, many more. They're just a small part of the much larger Raychem portfolio that we offer. You can find a good overview of the TE Raychem tubing offerings in the tubing selector guide in the resource section of this tech talk. When looking over the tubing selector guide, you will find there are two primary categories that heat shrink tubing fall into, single wall and dual wall. Dual wall tubing addresses the need for sealing by providing a lining of adhesive or encapsulant that melts to seal the substrate as you recover the tubing. We offer many types of adhesives to accommodate a wide variety of applications. First up, we have the ATUM heat shrink tubing. It is a flame retardant dual wall tubing that environmentally seals and protects from moisture and corrosion. An added bonus to this product is the high shrink ratio, which allows for easier sealing of the connector to wire interface. It also allows for easy repair of damaged cable jackets without removing the connector. One final note, is that the adhesive on the ATUM product is formulated to bond to a wide, wide variety of materials, including plastics, rubbers, and metals. Our DWFR, or dual wall flame retardant heat shrink tubing, is another adhesive lined, medium walled, highly flame retardant tubing product with a high shrink ratio. Our DWFR meets VW1 flammability rating, or the vertical wire test which is one of the highest ratings in the industry. Moving along, and finally, the TAT-125 heat shrink tubing. This has a flexible adhesive lining and tubing jacket, making it ideal for the simple sealing of inline splices, bimetallic joints, and components. It has a good mechanical strength and cut root through resistance. TAT-125 comes in a variety of colors with a standard 2 to 1 heat shrink ratio. We've covered a lot during this training with a few hiccups. So as a reminder, there are resources connected with this presentation that are at your disposal, and this presentation and recording will be available after the Tech Talk is over. All of the products we covered today provide excellent sealing protection, are ergonomically friendly, and meet or exceed safety standards, and allow for simplification of the manufacturing process, all resulting in a lower applied cost to you and the customer. So why TE? You know, we are not the only manufacturer in the space. Why partner with us? Well. Not only do we offer an extensive product portfolio, but we have decades of engineering expertise to back it. We are AMP. We are Raychem. We originated much of this technology and continue to innovate to this day. In terms of partnership, we are committed to meeting the standards of you, our customer, by delivering quality products and identifying opportunities for more efficiencies, cost savings, and innovations in design, not just here in the United States, but globally. We can support you across all regions from here to China. So really, the question is, why not TE? And with that, we'll begin Thanks. the Q&A. Thanks, Erin. Um, again, thank you all for sticking with us through our technical difficulties. Um, we'd like to go ahead and get over into our Q&A portion for today. Um, so our first question is for Melissa. Melissa, is the universal mate lock twist and lock still available? 
yes, we still do have a twist and lock. Um, the twist and lock for universal mate and lock just does not have the 18 degree angle. It's straight. Okay. Uh, next question coming in is, can you use the VersaLock sealed contacts in an unsealed application? Over to you again, Melissa. You can. Um, there's not a lot of difference. You just cannot use the unsealed terminals in a sealed application. Great. Um, and Erin, one for you. What is the recommended heat shrink tubing? It says 125 to 150 degrees C for sealing eyelet ground terminal. So you could use a number of tubings in this situation. If you're looking at that high temp um, around 150 C and sealed, probably recommend something similar to our RNF100 or RNF175 tubing or W175. Great. Uh, and what is the difference between the glow wire test and the VW-1 rating? The, so, yes. So the glow wire test is only applicable to connector housings. While many, there's been recent CSA guidelines coming out stating that connector assemblies should be uh, glow wire tested um, or they can bypass certain new testings if they are glow wire approved. The VW1 is a wiring cable um, requirement. So it does not apply to connector housing. VW1 is a vertical wire test and is a burn test. Great. And where are we seeing successes with the new sealed signal double lock connectors and the power versa lock connectors? Melissa, did you want to start with that one? I can. I know on the on the uh, new power versa lock, we're having a lot of success, not only in appliance markets, um, but a lot of HVAC and just in, in general. Um, but a lot of it has been at HVAC most recently. And Erin, did you want to speak to the same question for sealed signal double lock? Sure. So where we've seen a lot of successes with the sealed signal double lock at this point would be in the lighting, specifically the horticultural market, as well as we've gained a lot of interest in the automotive market. Great. Melissa, another question for our Power Versa Lock product. Uh, what is the recommended sequence to assemble the gang seal after the terminal crimp or before the terminal crimp? Uh, with the gang seal, you don't have to install the seal before the crimp. Um, with On some other products, we've got individual uh, seals. And with those individual seals, you have to put the seal on and then do the, the wire crimp. With the gang seal, um, you can put the seal in and then push the terminated terminal and wire in through the seal. Okay. Uh, Melissa, another one for you. Um, are the standard contacts compatible with mate and lock sealed? I did have that covered. Give me a second on that one. The universal mate and lock used, it had the same housings for sealed and unsealed, but it used different terminals. So you also had sealed and unsealed terminals. Okay, great. And for Universal Mate and Lock, for the TPA version series that's planned to launch soon, uh, will it be a new housing part number, or is the TPA that's being launched compatible with the current housing part numbers? The new TPAs will be compatible with the existing housing part numbers. So if you're using an existing 2 through 5 cap or plug, the new TPA will be able to work with that cap or plug. Great. 
Um, and are the contacts different for each type of connector? Does that mean by product line? So regarding the products that we talked about today, the field signal double lock, the uh, power reversal yeah. lock, universal main lock. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So there, yeah. there are different the, contacts for each. Yes. Each of the product lines have their own housings and their own terminals. And they're definitely different. And as I tried to mention, <laughs> we got cut off a bit, like the um, power reversal lock is a tab and receptacle versus a universal mate and lock is a pin and socket. Mini universal mate and lock is pin and socket. So they're even a different uh, contact design. Great. Um, a question coming in for both of you. Are there samples available for these products that were discussed today? Yes. There should be samples fully loaded on PE.com. And if you need any help accessing them, please feel free to reach out. Great. And if we want to contact someone for further information, who can we reach out to? Um, please feel free so, to reach out to me. Oh, go ahead, Melissa. No, I'm going to say, yeah, I believe you were attaching our information that people can reach directly out to us. And if we have a, if you have a question that we cannot answer, We'll be happy to get you that information and get a response for you. Great. Um, and both of the email addresses for both Melissa and for Aaron are included um, in the bio pop out as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with our closing. If you have any more questions, please feel free to pop those into the Q&A section and we will make sure that we get you an answer um, to your contact information that you've included. Uh, but I wanted to thank uh, Aaron and Melissa very much for sharing all of the great information with us today. Um, again, we apologize for the technical difficulties, um, and, but we wanted to thank you very much to the audience for joining us today. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you will be receiving an email with a link to watch an on-demand recording of today's presentation. Uh, if you enjoyed today's webinar, we encourage you to reach out to either Aaron and or Melissa directly to continue the conversation and learn more about the products that we spotlighted today. Um, please also visit our registration page at www.te.com forward slash tech talks to sign up for any upcoming webinar events. We're always adding new programs, so please check back often. Um, and again, we wanted to thank you all for your time and your attention today for our TE Tech Talk, and we hope that you all enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.